Good morning, everybody. We've got a mixed trade in the grain markets on Wednesday. It is 6.07 a.m. Central Time as I speak here. May corn futures down nine cents at 749. December corn down three and a quarter at 648. May soybeans up 11 and a quarter at 1670. November beans up seven and a quarter at 1474 and a quarter. May Chicago wheat down 31 and a quarter at 11.23. May Kansas City wheat down 30 and a quarter at 11.27 and a quarter. May spring wheat down 21 cents at 10.89 and a quarter. If you guys are listening on the podcast, as always, appreciate it, guys. If you're watching on YouTube, I think we're up to like almost 4,400 subscribers. My goal is to get to 5,000. So if you are watching consistently, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you need some additional assistance from me, guys, go to my website, www.standardgrain.com. I've got a premium subscription service. Almost all my subscribers are farmers. Uh, you should absolutely check this deal out. Morning email, all of my grain marketing recommendations, a ton of weather info, subscribe only videos sent out every day and in these subscriber only videos i really go into depth in regard to markets grain marketing in particular i did two videos yesterday uh one regarding the collapse in the energy markets we've seen this big downdraft uh just yesterday in crude oil in uh, heating oil in a lot of the energy markets and i've had a lot of customers concerned about fuel costs so if you're interested in that uh give that deal a shot and then i did a second one that was kind of a map study of ukraine uh where is the conflict taking place versus uh where do they grow wheat where do they grow corn kind of a geographic study today i'm going to do a video regarding new crop corn and soybean option strategies in regard to grain marketing i'm going to run through some very simple stuff for more of the beginner and some more advanced stuff also so if you guys are interested in any of that check out that premium subscription guys you can cancel it at any time china is a mess they've got a surge in COVID cases so traders are already uh, discussing supply chain disruptions as a result of this COVID outbreak. The official Chinese numbers suggest that COVID cases went from zero to like 5,100 as of yesterday. I would very much take those numbers with a grain of salt. Uh, the country has a billion and a half people, and they're saying they've got 5,000 COVID cases. But in any case, uh, they are sticking with the zero tolerance COVID policy. They've already locked down entire cities. The Hang Seng Index lost 6% yesterday, but it got it all back and then some today. Uh, the Chinese stock market has generally trended lower. It's, it's really not a good looking deal. So this COVID thing leaves a lot of issues. I mean, supply chain, logistics, exports out of China, and then also Chinese demand for products like crude oil, soybeans, corn, I mean, you name it. So uh, a lot of unknowns here regarding this issue, COVID in China. Talks between Russia and Ukraine are ongoing. Zelensky said the peace talks sounded a little bit more realistic today, but that more time was needed. At the same time, Reuters reports that Russian airstrikes killed at least five people in Kiev and that now three million people, uh, Ukrainians, have fled the country. So financial markets, you know, in any case, seem to be slightly more optimistic. You've got a rally in the stock market. You've got that sharp decline in energy prices. I'll talk about that here in a second. So markets may be a little bit more optimistic. I don't know if that's warranted or not, but uh, the talks are ongoing. Yesterday's NOPA crush report, mostly as expected, 165 million bushels, uh, very much on par with expectations. That print was down 9.5% from January, but it was up 6.5% from uh, the same month last year. This is the second best uh, crush number for the month of February on record. And seasonally, it's pretty normal to see uh, the crush number move lower in February. It's, it's done the same thing the last few years. So normal stuff. Uh, it's a good print overall. Domestic processors in the U.S. typically account for, you know, about half of all demand for beans grown here in the United States, uh, give or take, in a given year. So a, a decent crush number on par with expectations. Dry areas of the U.S. Plains and also the Western Corn Belt are going to see some rain here. You know, this whole stretch from Oklahoma through Kansas, Nebraska, eastern Colorado into parts of South Dakota, uh, Iowa. Uh, Minnesota. They're going to see at least an inch of rain here over the next seven days, according to this morning's weather forecast. Uh, some areas uh, further east and central are going to see heavier amounts. You look at the stretch from Missouri into Illinois, Indiana. This could actually be too much rain for some of those areas that have been already wet. But, you know, the plains have been very much drought stricken. The western corn belt's dry. So this is, is much needed rainfall in those areas. And again, for central areas of the corn belt, depending on the location, this could even be excessive. You look at the six to 10 day forecast and um, the map suggests above normal probability of, of, of good rainfall here again for the plains for the western corn belt so uh, this this I'm not going to say it's a drought busting event but it's certainly a positive uh, for a lot of those areas 
Inflation on the wholesale side remains at all-time highs. The Bureau of Labor Statistics uh, yesterday released monthly PPI data. Uh, the, produ the Producer Price Index, or PPI, measures the average change in time in the selling prices received by domestic producers for the out for their output. So this is wholesale inflation. The February data was compiled, you got to keep in mind, prior to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Uh, so PPI was up 0.8% in February and up 10% annualized. That annualized increase of 10% is tied with uh, just January for the highest record uh, highest uh, number on record. And these this data set only goes back to, I think, 2010. Uh, the PPI data is, is not watched as closely as the CPI data. That's the consumer inflation number. But uh, PPI is often kind of a precursor to higher inflation at the consumer level. You know, wholesalers pass off their higher costs, essentially. We're probably going to see our first Fed rate hike for the first time since 2018 today. Traders are prepared for a quarter point hike to the Fed fund rate, uh, maybe a half point, probably a quarter point. The rate is currently zero to uh, an eighth, essentially. The rate hike is likely a given, although there's no degree of certainty here, of course. Uh, traders are perhaps even more interested in Powell's comments regarding inflation, Ukraine, and a potential runoff of the Fed's massive nine or maybe $10 trillion balance sheet. Uh, so you're going to see all this at one o'clock central time today. Crude oil market has stabilized this morning, at least. Your nearby April uh, WTI contract peaked at $130 per barrel last week. It bottomed at 93 and a half yesterday. Uh, the contract back up to about 97, a little bit quieter here this morning. You've got several factors that have resulted in this big correction. Uh, there's the potential still for a nuclear deal with Iran, which would open up some more imports or exports from Iran, rather. Surging COVID cases in China uh, is, a, is a question mark when it comes to oil demand. There's some lack of clarity surrounding Russian exports. There are some European countries that haven't totally banned Russian exports and could still uh, import some oil from Russia. India, China still interested as well. So a lot of question marks remain, but this thing has pulled back uh, big time. The uh, cattle market yesterday was mixed in live or um, higher in live cattle and mixed in feeder cattle, so kind of a mixed bag. Um, no cash trade to speak of, really. The box beef market was mixed. Feeder cattle index 152.81, which was uh, up just a little bit. In the outside markets, the U.S. dollar is down. Uh, the stock market is strong. The S&P is up 50 points. The Dow Jones up 350. Bonds about flat. Gold's down seven bucks. Crude oil now down 37 cents in the April WTI 96.09 last trade. Have a great day today, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow.